investigation happening right now in the death of a Six Flags worker at the park in Cobb County. I'm Alan Devlin. And I'm Sean Gables. The victim was thrown from an employee van at the park. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bineport live in Austell near the Six Flags entrance. Chelsea, I cannot even imagine the pain her family is going through. Yeah, Sean, that employee Andrea Crook showed up to work here on Sunday and never made it home tonight. There's still a lot of questions surrounding how this all happened. We spoke to her husband tonight who asked us not to share any photos of her on television. This is what a typical day looks like at Six Flags. People packing the roller coasters and rides. But Sunday night, the joy faded into terror when a theme park employee was thrown from a van and killed. Cobb County police say 41 year old Andrea Crook, a scare actor, was in the rear cargo compartment of a Ford Econoline Sunday night with several other adults and two juveniles, all employees of Six Flags. Investigators say Crook was ejected from the vehicle when the driver of the multi passenger van made a left uphill turn around a curve on Harbor Way, an employee access road in inside the park. The fall caused head injuries and Crook later died at Grady Hospital. Her husband told Atlanta News First she leaves behind three beautiful daughters. In a statement, Six Flags President Dave Zellner said, our hearts and thoughts are extended to the family of the employee as well as those impacted by this tragic automobile accident. We are heartbroken. Zellner added that immediate support is being provided to employees affected by the tragic incident. And Cobb County police say right now the driver of the van is not facing any charges, but that could change as this investigation continues. Tonight, we've also reached out to OSHA to see if they've launched an investigation into employee safety here at Six Flags. Reporting live in Cobb County, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First. Well, October.